Hello students, welcome to Edusip. In this video, we are going to discuss about 01 knapsack problem. The solution of 01 knapsack belongs to dynamic programming. Uh, so those students who are new to this video, kindly watch the previous uploaded videos related to dynamic programming. Here in 01 knapsack, what we are going to do is, whether we will pick that or not, that we represented in a 0 and 1 format. 0 represents we are not going to take that item, 1 represents we will be taking that item. True false also it is known somewhere, like whether we will keep that or not. So we can write t slash f also, but 0 1 knapsack is a starting version of by uh, uh, you can say we are renaming it, whether we pick, so we will be putting 1 means it's true for us, if we will not take that one, so we will put 0 or false for a time like uh, as per the question okay so uh, like this there are also uh, problems related to dynamic programming which we have already discussed knapsack problem is of two different knapsack problems we discussed uh, in our chapter so here one is uh, you know fractional knapsack which is based on greedy approach another is zero one knapsack which is based on a dynamic approach We'll be discussing that one at the last. Well, uh, we'll be considering the problem like uh, in word case, 0 1 knapsack is based in on word case, fractional knapsack will be best. That will be discussing the last portion of this 0 1 knapsack video. Okay. Now, in 0 1 knapsack, as I told you, whether it will peak or not, that based on the solution which we will be following the dynamic approach. Okay. If some such things like you can say knapsack, the name itself that is a bad. Uh, basically, uh, this problem relates to thieves. Uh, so certain thieves are or might be a group of thieves or might be a person okay, who is trying to steal the uh, uh, you know products. So we know we can divide the gold, clear, silver, anything we can divide, not an issue. But we cannot divide the phone. If anyone is interested to you know, steal the phone, we cannot divide it and we cannot sell it. We know the the work of a thief is to steal the product from somewhere and it uh, he or she will uh, you know sell that item and get some profit. Definitely they have invested zero because they have invested their mind to steal it and they have to sell it once they will sell. So profit will be definitely more than zero. Clear? This is what the problem is. This is somehow relates to the thieves. So knapsack, there is a bag. In the bag, certain weight is assigned that we know. Uh, the backpack we are using for a laptop, we know it's maximum we can carry uh, 5 kgs of things. But somewhere we know we are also not taking more than 5 kgs. We are in general, we are just keeping 1 kg or max to max 2 kgs of uh, things within that bag. We know it's more than 5 kg, definitely. Uh, we cannot, uh, the, the bag could not sustain for uh, one month or might be for 10 days. We know that one. Okay. To maintain proper balance of the bag, we are just keeping those weight which are, uh, you know, less than the limited weight of that bag. If the capacity of the bag, in general, we are saying capacity of the bag in liters. Okay. So the capacity of backpack is suppose 15 liter. So you can say that 15 liter is maximum capacity of it. The weights will uh, be keeping or the weights will carry less than that could be better or sustain if you want to use that bag for one year or two years. In that case, you should try to use the bag or try to keep those weights which will be less than or half of the weight or the half of the capacity of that bag. This is what we are doing in general. Okay. So next thing is, though we will be focusing on uh, the profit here. Uh, I must say I have collected this information from Tardo's book which is written by Tardo's and other co-author. So here this algorithm uh, says uh, two three uh, you know, variables are being introduced. One is I. I stands for the item. W stands for the weight. So here WI stands for the weight of the item. And capital W stands for 
the capacity or the maximum capacity maximum capacity of the knapsack okay and one more thing it introduced as v small v which is profit small v is profit if you uh, say small v i means v1 represents first uh, items profit okay v1 represents first uh, the profit of first item v2 represents the profit of second item like w1 represents weight of the first item w2 represents the weight of the second item like this okay as for the definition we utilized opt optimal or opt iw i represents that we discussed its item now okay item w stands for the weight for each item or uh, having the weight we have to find the optimal value for the knapsack problem means the in in case of weight uh, in in case of uh, the profit we should try to manage everything but we will be definitely taking the profit but the target is the weight of that item which we are taking whether it is less than the maximum capacity or not if it is the weight suppose the bag could carry 5 liter the backpack could carry 15 liter the maximum capacity if the item which is not divisible means like mobile phone laptop uh, washing machine also like those type of items could not be divisible you cannot divide it if you can divide it you cannot you know sell it i understand if you have a group of you know tapes are there so might be they can you know carry the items like you know segregated wise that could be done but segregation you will do that approach will be different but only for one single person if he is telling the item so like mobile phone if uh, the capacity of the bag is suppose you can say 10 gram suppose 10 gram is the capacity of a knapsack or a bag so in this case if the mobile phone is around 100 grams so we cannot carry that one because here we will be keeping in mind the item should not be divisible means we cannot segregate it we can segregate what the wheat rice uh, you can say uh, you know gold uh, any jewelry item we can segregate that one because we know gold could be divisible uh, by a number of times you can sell it without uh, a, you know any any certain limits you can do that one non divisible items are a part of the zero one knapsack that is what we are going to discuss here okay so in this case what we are going to do is like optimal or opt of iw we are going to find where the optimal value means the profit will be written within the tabular format and here the goal is the number of items could be n means there are suppose four items like you know uh, if there are four items we can say what is our target to find four items the capacity is suppose 15 this is our result now means up to the last point fourth item if i'll pick with the maximum capacity then what should be the profit opt here is considered as the profit by considering the weight assigned to that item as well as the profit assigned to that item considering the uh, weight uh, considering the maximum capacity of the knapsack means considering the maximum capacity of the bag of a thief will be a uh, part of your optimal or opt nw w is the maximum weight of the or maximum capacity of the knapsack n stands for the number of items okay. number of items could be four eight anything this is our target to find the maximum profit okay find the maximum profit i'm just writing maximum profit maximum profit is our target or is our aim also clear which is representing this one opt nw clear there are two cases whether we'll pick this or will not pick this we will not pick this if wi means if the capacity of that item is greater than the the carrying capacity or the maximum capacity of the knapsack which we discussed now will not select that item we will select the item if 
the capacity of that item is less than the maximum capacity or the if the weight of that item is less than the maximum capacity of the knapsack if it is definitely we will select the item okay otherwise we'll not select the item now we'll be using the buttermap approach we discussed in uh, earlier videos in introduction we discussed those who are new kindly watch the introduction video we discussed in detail about buttermap approach top down approach so buttermap approach is using the iteration one where if we are using iteration so buttermap approach we are following clear so in buttermap approach we first decided like if zero item is selected might be whatever the weight are means no item so definitely the profit here m stands for we are using m is uh, there is an array okay so which represents as m so we started with the m and we said the initial one without taking any item definite the profit is zero because you are not suppose that uh, you know thief is coming and he or she doesn't take anything and uh, in that case if no item so they cannot uh, you know sell it so if they cannot sell it without any item definitely no profit will be given to them this is how it is being represented so this for loop if it is written so it is of big of n so i'm just simply writing big of n or you can say big of w also means the maximum capacity of the, the maximum capacity of the knapsack it will run it will just assign the value here clear next is the for loop we started with the number of items n stands for the number of items number of items or the number of objects also items or objects w stands for the maximum capacity i have already written that one but still i am written capacity of knapsack knapsack or bag through which the item could be selected clear next small w is a weight assigned to each item so if one is there once it is running here so we will be starting with a zero and we will be checking with all the items like up to w we will be checking that one if if condition arises here if the w of i is greater than that one so what we have to do we have to previously selected items which we uh, are uh, doing in a tabulation method there we will be finding bottom up approach there will be finding so the previous item with a, a, a weight assigned there will be assigned to that one means indirectly we are not keeping anything we will be keeping those items which are belonging to this side and this uh, you know a capacity we will be discussing that using the example i kept the example but still we will be uh, now we will be just discussing the approaches here once the approach will be fine then we will be reaching to the example and we will be discussing it well okay next if uh, such case will not be arising if w if the capacity is uh, being like you know is greater than the capacity of that item or you can say the weight is greater than the weight assigned to that item in that case we will be finding the maximum of uh, you know adding of this elements with the previous element the, within that which one is maximum because maximum is our target why because maximum profit we need that is why max function is getting used okay after that mw which is in general we are trying to find out opt n comma w in mathematically which we recently derived there we are finding mw represents that one so this is running for big of n means we can say it is running for the number of items first then inner loop is running for big of n into w you can say n plus one time i understand but n plus one could be n considered as theoretically it is n now it is running for up to n into w why because this is inner loop upper loop is running for n times inner loop is running for w time so n into w total time it is taking this is if condition so you can say for if condition we are running for big of one time into the upper time it is running is this one so the total 
if I'll add everything and here it is big of 1 because only it is returning the value. So the total time complexity could be you can add it is equal to big of n into w. It might be n square but it is not always n square it might be more than n square that's why we are representing in this way clear so don't worry now we'll be focusing on the example that that could be very much easy and well understood by us here the items are represented as i vi represents the profit here these are the profit clear these are the items there's a weight assigned to each item so W stands for the weight assigned, uh, like weight and I represent the waste, uh, weight assigned to ith item. Clear? First item, the profit is $1. Uh, the weight is 1 kg, like this. In the question, it's, it's direct answer I'm, I kept as for the PPT. So the question will be given like uh, draw or table or like 0, 1 knapsack, run the 0, 1 knapsack. If the maximum capacity of the knapsack is 11 and the uh, you know profit as well as the weight of the items are being given below that could be a question so first of all you have to just write the items with the profit with the weight that you have to write here the maximum weight is 11 why because the 0 to 11 we are running here as for this we are running for 0 to 11 so w is 11 because this is the maximum weight uh, or you can say weight of the knapsack the question will be weight of the knapsack is 11 and the uh, below the item details are being provided uh, find the maximum profit using 0 1 knapsack uh, uh, using 0 1 knapsack okay so if that question will become so in that way you should follow certain rules uh, regulations based on that you try to find out the values here the values are already there uh, with the arrow marks you don't worry about it we will be just finding the result one by one okay first we started with the w i w like w1 w2 w3 up to w11 w11 is equivalent to the maximum weight okay so with the zero capacity or weight limit is w here it is written so with the zero here it is i or item items will be displayed in this or will be presented in this way like no item is selected for no item and for zero capacity we should say if the capacity is zero means the bag could not carry anything so whatever the items will be inserted that will be considered as zero that is why we kept zero as it is clear so for zero capacity this is for capacity i must write this is capacity Okay, capacity is segregated into 1, 1 plus adding with 1 up to 11. Okay, so 0 for 0, we know if capacity carrying capacity is 0 means it cannot carry anything. Whatever the item we will be having, we will put it is 0. These are the profit. These cells, these are the cell we should say the profit cell. Okay, these cells are considered as a profit. I must say within the cell within the table represents profit okay so the cell within the table represents the profit then if no item whatever the capacity will be always no item means no profit so always it is zero throughout all the capacity no items are there so definitely it's zero if we'll pick only one item clear now for one item here the uh, method is written so for one item we must write opt1 item one is picked now w here it is zero we have already written now this for this w w as one now because we are right now here so previously we don't know what's the value of it previously we don't know what's the value of it now we are at here so at one this is opt 
1 comma 1 why because first item and small w is 1 so in that case what we have to find out so whether the w like whether the weight assigned is 1 kg 1 kg is greater than 1 or not it is not clear it's equivalent means we will be running this one so in this case what we have to find opt i minus 1 previously i is this one i this is small w i is 1 minus 1 which is 0 0 comma we need to find maximum 0 comma w w is 1 then v of i v of i is this one like 1 plus opt i minus 1 i minus 1 previously it i is 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 w minus w Pre the, this w is this is 1 small w represents this one clear now this is 1 this w is 1 now this w is this one clear so 1 minus 1 which is 0 the maximum of this item will be written here maximum opt 0 1 opt this is 0 and this is 1 this is opt 0 1 is 0 1 plus opt 0 0 this is opt 0 0 this is 0 so maximum 0 comma 1 so within that 1 is maximum so we must write here as 1 clear i hope it is clearly understood by you this is how we are representing clear so these are the method first we will follow don't worry i'll say the trick also but still within that we need to follow the steps if yes then we'll say uh, this rule is fine for us. I think it's under, understood by you. Now I'm changing the value. Okay. So we'll be running through the method as we run and we got this value like this. Okay. Now the I represents what we know. So first item we know with the capacity, the trick now I'm saying. The capacity is 1 kg. Capacity is 1 kg like this W is 1 kg. So we can carry that one. If we'll carry the profit, it is written here as dollar one. One dollar is there. So the the carrying capacity is increasing, but only one item is picked. This represents that one. If only one item, whatever the capacity would be, the similar item value will be displayed. Why? Because if you enhance the capacity, no problem for us because we have taken it. So we are not worried about it. The profit will be same. Why? Because that item picked well. Clear? Now we will be focusing on the second one where we are adding the second item where the uh, weight is 2 and the profit we got is 6. Okay? Now we will be using for this case it is 1 previously 1 and this is 6 now I am just running for this the method the two times I will be using here then we will be discussing all the trick okay so 1 and 2 here this portion is opt item we introduce as second item and w of that one is this is a w for us small w means the capacity in that case so we can say the item weight item weight is 2 is greater than 1 in this case it follows this approach only where opt we will follow opt 1 with 1 means just the above 1 we will collect the information there directly as for this 2 is greater than 1 means the weight of that item is 2 
and the weight here this is small w for us the weight is now 1 so we know 2 is greater than 1 if yes then what we are doing we are doing the i i value is previously a 2 now 2 minus 1 and this is our small w because we are at small w small w is increasing towards the capital w okay small w 0 small w 1 like this and this is capital w you can say w 11 also you can say okay now uh, here if this follows so we will be directly fetching the above value and we will just declaring that what it is there so this is how we completed now the w is increased small w is now at 2 we should change this as 2 if i'll change this as 2 so i have to check the condition whether 2 is the 2 item weight is 2 whether it is greater than 2 or not no it is not but it is equal so if it is equal we will run otherwise condition okay so in otherwise condition what we have to do we have to just use opt maximum maximum opt i minus 1 i minus 1 is 2 minus 1 is 1 with w2 w is remaining as it is we are not changing that one value like the profit is said to be 6 here 6 plus the the item uh, profit basically i am talking about next opt Six plus one comma two six plus I minus one is OPT I minus one is two minus one is one comma W W is right now two two minus the weight here is two the weight here is 2 so we must write maximum opt21 opt21 is this is 2 and this is 1 this side I must change the color now could be quite confusing so opt1 this is opt item 1 with 2 this item will be written here means the i i item with the 2 will be 1 now 6 i'm just writing 6 there 6 plus opt1 opt one with zero one with zero means i'll be writing max i'm changing the color first i'm writing in red max one comma six plus one with zero one with zero this is there now for out of that 6 will be considered as the answer because out of 1 and 6 the maximum is 6 so whether it is correct or not yes it is correct so please check that one like we will be using the formula i'll tell you the method of it or the trick for it but still we are following the formula to check whether it is correct or not now i'll tell you the formula okay so how it is clearly understood now I'm just saying you the formula, the, the trick, how to find the 0, 1 abstract easily within a fraction of time. Okay. By looking uh, the table, I'll easily get the value immediately. Clear? Okay. Now you check. I'm not changing it. Okay. So you check here. In this case, 2 is getting added means we can consider these two uh, items. Okay. 
So if I am considering these two items, I will pick 1 and 2. These are either 1 or 2. So if I will add 3 kg is there. Clear? We will add 3 kg. In 3 kg, definitely 6 plus 1 plus 7 and 3 kg is less than 11 which is the maximum capacity. Now 7 is the answer. This is what the trick is. Clear? We will be considering this 2 and for if I will consider only one object for one uh, if capacity is 1. So I will pick that one. For 2 if I will be having the capacity is 2. So I have two options either this or this. So maximum capacity maximum uh, uh, profit I am getting here. That is why I am picking this as our answer here. Clear? Now for other options like what what, uh, whatever the uh, capacity you can enhance, uh, we will not be uh, improve the uh, profit of it because there are two items. This has already been picked. That is why seven throughout. Okay. Next, if I'll add third item with the previously two items, then in this case you should always focus. Previously, we got like if the fifth kg, the profit is maximum. Previously in fifth we got 7. Now what we have to do? You just update 18. Clear? You update 18. Previous values what is there? You keep the same thing as it is. Clear? The only updated value you should focus this. Now you completely do one thing like 5 plus 7 you do for the hit and trial now. 5 plus 1 is 6 kg. For 6 kg what was the previous value? Previous value is 7. And for 6 kg, 18 plus 1, the profit is $19. $19 and it was previously $7. So you just update that one to $19. Okay, now the next uh, probability you can do. If you consider this two, whether 7 kg is less than 8, 11 kg or not. Yes, if yes, then you add this one. It's $24. So previously it was 7 now you update that $24 as a profit. So now this is if you can add this 3, 7 plus 8, the total would be 25. Up to 8 means we will be adding these 3 uh, items and we will be getting with this capacity we are getting maximum profit is 25. If you enhance the capacity, not an issue, the profit will remain same. This is what the trick is. Clear? Those who are preparing for a competitive exam, this is how we will be keeping the items. Next, if you add fourth item by keeping all the three previously items, in that case, you can check uh, like in sixth kg. If you have like, you know, six kg is less than 11, so you focus on uh, six kg first. 6 kg the profit was before in 6 kg the profit was before 19 so if you pick 6 kg means the fourth item if we are including it exactly gives us the 22 profit so you update that 22 immediately clear 22 is now updated now you go for the hit and trial now for seventh one you add 6 plus 1 whether 7 is less than 11 yes next the profit is 22 plus 1 which is $23. Previously it was uh, 24 so no need to update. You just simply keep the value. Okay. Next is you check whether 6 with 2 is 8. Now 6 is uh, uh, 2 is 8. 8 is less than 11. Now the profit you add. Uh, 22 plus 6 is 28. So $28. Previously it was 25. Now you update that as 28. Clear? Next. Next you can do a combination of these two items like 5 and 6 because all the items are like this. We are not going to change anything. Uh, 6 plus 5 is uh, 11. 11 is less than equal to 11 because we will be keeping the item up to 11. So in that case what we have to write like 22 plus 18 the profit could be $40 so here you can write $40 
and before that the value which we got right now we will be just checking with the 10 so 10 could be formed by by just adding the item 6 2 then 1 in this case it is 9 kg is 11 kg or not so we say yes so in this case what we have to do 22 plus 6 plus 1 so it is 29 dollar so 29 dollar it is updated and uh, here we got but this will be inherited from the previously greater one we have to check which one is greater the greater value will be updated here okay so we got this value from that side clear next the this one it tells us if we'll add fifth item okay if we'll add fifth item means all the items will be considered now we will be focusing on the profit so if we'll consider the seventh kg just focus on the seventh kg you uh, whether in seventh kg 7th kg the item will be 28 uh, like the profit will be 28 instead of 24 now you update and keep the same thing as it is do not change this is a trick okay next uh, for combination once you have taken uh, one item you do the combination 7 plus 1 is 8 8 is 29 dollar for 8th kg you just focus the 29 should be there here it is 28 now you just change it to 29 okay now for uh, ninth you add this to so 8 28 and 6 is 34 so you can update that one next for 10 so 7 plus 2 plus 1 is 10 so this is this 3 will be added which is 35 dollar okay so 35 is updated here now for 11 by taking this 7 we cannot add anything and we cannot go for 11 only this two item exactly gives us 11 okay once we will be adding so this two already we got a profit from this side so that is why the profit is we got from the above one okay now you can consider which item then we need to pick so we need to go for a backtracking of the items to track the uh, you know uh, selection of those items which one we have selected once we have filled up with the uh, uh, you know profit the last says the maximum profit by considering all the items i must write maximum profit maximum profit after considering all items okay so this is the maximum profit the last one says this is also uh, m n as per the uh, program or else we can say it is opt n comma w the other uh, n is the number of ele items or elements or the uh, you can say the products these are like five and this is 11 the maximum one that is what it says n comma w this is what our target is this is what our result is okay now once you have selected already right in this way like which item will be picked there are five items you should write the five items in this way after drawing or after completing this table you just write the items within that you put 0101 01 format if yes you need to take then you put one other will be put it as zero so here 40 we will be getting from the above value means it is not giving the fifth element is not giving us 40 as a profit the previous element is giving us 40 as a profit why because we have inherited the value from the above so that's why we should say fifth element is not taken and the fourth element is taken instead of fifth element this is finalized now out of 40 out of 40 if will the profit in case of profit the profit was 40 now if i'll select fourth item this fourth item we will subtract this fourth item 
because now the profit left is 18. We have to select whether any product is giving or any item or sub array or sub items are providing us 18 or less than 18 or not. To check that one, we are running from this end to that end. We found 18 here. But this item already we have picked, but we have to check whether we have collected from the above or not. Here we found, yes, 18 is there from the above item. Once we found 18, then you can put 18 minus 18, the profit is 0. Means until it is 0, you need to pick that item. So then we are picking the third item. And here we are getting the profit as 0. Now we are picking this third and fourth item this third and fourth item we are picking this is what we are getting the result as zero now i was writing the profit as zero clear until the profit is zero, this is our result this is our answer okay so the basic difference is between the note i am writing note 0 1 knapsack and fractional knapsack fractional knapsack uses greedy approach okay and 0 1 knapsack program or problem uses dynamic approach dynamic programming approach this is how we have completed the difference with the fractional abstract and the dynamic uh, programming approach which is 0 1 abstract in 0 1 abstract we have discussed about the time complexity which is n into w you can say this is a array in a format of array or matrix you can say matrix the total uh, time it will be taking with the number of indices the number of indices will be the number of items here with the maximum uh, capacity uh, will be considered as the uh, uh, you know complexity of it this is how we segregated and in fractional abstract the name suggests we will be doing a fraction of it so whenever we will be completing uh, completely not taking the item somehow if uh, you can say instead of suppose you have 11 and you have uh, to find out in fractional abstract we will be focusing on the profit if uh, we are having the maximum profit of an item so we will try to keep that item first in such cases we have to first uh, you know order those item in a profit wise from top to bottom we will pick those items with the weight first if the less profit like we will be prioritized the highest profit will be given as the first higher, highest priority to pick that item in fractional abstract. Once we have suppose left with 10, why we have keeping all the profit. Now 1 kg is left in the bag, means we can take 1 kg. Then we will be following the low or the just immediate lower the profit of that item. This is how we will be collectively giving the maximum profit in fractional abstract. So it based on the problem in general, I must say, if you will be having the problem like, sir, uh, how do we say in general, 0, 1 knapsack is giving us a maximum profit or fractional knapsack is giving us the maximum profit. I must say one thing, it based on the problem. Okay. And 0, 1 knapsack in, in general, we should say uh, either we'll pick or not. It based on the 0, 1 knapsack, but fractional will pick everything, but we'll prioritize the profit first. So in general, I must say fractional abstract will give the maximum profit as compared to 0, 1. Again, I must say, so uh, 0, 1 is different problem statement. Fractional is different problem statement. This is how we have winded off this 0, 1 abstract problem using dynamic uh, programming approach. If any doubt, please comment below. Thank you and have a good day.